Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me as I'm going to my geology ball later. Um, so obviously it's for Christmas, it's just something we do every year where all the people on my course or all the people who want to just get together and we just have a nice little evening. Um, but it is very dressy, we all wear like floor length dresses and stuff so it's quite exciting so I'm about to start getting ready. Um, I did my hair yesterday for it, well I haven't done it, so I plaited it in three plaits just down my head like that. Um, so when I take the plaits out I'll have like really wavy curly hair. That's the plan anyway, if it all goes tits up I'll just shove my, I'll just wash my hair again and just go with wet hair because that happened last year. My hair was wet and just plaited. I think I even made a video about it. So um, yeah, I'm going to start off with doing my face. So um, I'm just going to be doing basic makeup for this but I might even put a bit of eyeshadow on because you know it's an event. But um, I'm not very savvy when it comes to makeup. You probably all know my makeup routine pretty uh, pretty well. So to start off with, I'm using the Eye Eraser by Maybelline. It just looks like that. Um, this one's nearly finished. I do have another one, but this should do me for tonight. I also, I painted my nails last night for this event. How do you even show nails on camera? Like that? Or is that normal? I don't know, but I did sort of like burgundy purple with gold tips. They're just cute because I was gonna get them like done I wanted like you know like proper claws like fake nails or gel nails but the place next to where I live I thought oh that'd be perfect I'll just pop over today and get them done it was like 48 pounds for a set of nails and I was like I cannot justify that I have nail varnish I'm just gonna do them myself so um, that's what I decided to do so first things first I'm going to put this on and mainly, I know most girls, like, this is, oh, I've got something on my eyelid. This is quite a popular piece of makeup, and uh, but a lot of girls use it, like, under their eyes and then use makeup uh, foundation on top. I'm not a fan of foundation, full stop, so I just wear this, and in my opinion, that's enough for me. I just got foundation all over my nail. But yeah, so I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Do a little bit there. I just sort of star it out. Just like that. And then on my chin. And pretty much when I rub this about, it covers my entire face. So I'm like, winning. And you can get this in most um, makeup places, like Boots or Superdrug or wherever you tend to go. It's a very common thing to find. Just like that. I've got it lovely and in my eyebrow. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend it using this sort of like toothbrush brush they're just in my opinion they're a lot better than normal brushes because the bristles are like thicker and closer together so they you know they move the makeup around better just like that just sort my eyebrows out so there you have it that's my base face done I'm just gonna run and get my uh, eyeshadow palette a lot of girls probably will have a go at me because you meant to do eyeshadow first then your foundation so it doesn't like trickle all down your face but I completely forgot about that rule so um yeah so I'm just gonna run and get that so using my more 30 well 350 palette I don't know how you say it I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do like a subtle sort of brown sparkly smoky eye these are the colors so there's like some shimmery some matte just like that just using this one here just in the Rack of my eyes and use this one here. Put that more in the middle. I'm going to use the dark brown one, which is just this one here, just to do the outer bits. We'll blend it in properly in a minute. Just like that. So they're just sort of very subtle and then I think I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle to them. I'm going to use this goldy sort of one down here. I'm just going to tap that on top. Uh, 
Um, next I'm going to put some, I'm going to do the rest of my face, so I'm going to do the highlight, I'm going to put the powder on first and then I'm going to highlight and contour. So for this I just use the Natural Collection um, Translucent Powder, oh no, I do the pressed powder in warm. This is literally $1.99 this powder and it's so good. I live by this powder. It is, it's just, I mean it's just perfect for what I want. Next I'm going to do my highlighter and contour and for this I just use one of my Sam and Nick picks of uh, the Real Techniques brushes and then a palette from H&M which is very used but does the job. So um, I'm going to do, I think I'll, I'll do highlighter first. Actually no, I'll do contour first. Bom -bom. And I curve it round sort of where my cheek sits, just because when you blend it that tends to look a bit better. Even though I look incredibly funny right now. I'm also going to do a little bit of my hairline just to make my forehead look a little less humongous. Just like that. Bring this down a bit. So that's that. And then highlighter. I'm just using my another Techniques brush which just looks like this. I'm just going to Throw it on my cheek. I'm ready! Joke, so now, using the same brush I do for my powder, um, oh, I think I've got some up my nose, that is tickling me. I just blend it in. Just like that. Hmm. Anyway, now I'm going to put my mascara on and then I'll be back. So that's my eyes done and pretty much most of my face. I'm just going to put lipstick on. I much prefer the eyeshadow with mascara on. I think it like finishes the look because um, before it just felt a bit out of place. But now I like it so that's all that matters. Um, lipstick wise I'm going with the one I always tend to wear which is the... Uh, the uh, it's the one I can't pronounce but it's this one. <laughs> it's like a £9 lipstick but it stays on like all night and it's like everything proof so whenever I'm drinking or if I kiss anyone like it doesn't come off on them at all it's all safe so um it's really nice and it's like matte but you know like some matte lipsticks can really dry out your lips this one like doesn't it's like really nice so really recommend this one and I get it in the colour velvet is that no that's the type of lipstick pretty sure oh it's nudist I was gonna say but it's a velvet it feels like velvet on your lips basically so just gonna apply it and there you have it so that's how I'm doing my makeup for the ball tonight um, when I say tonight like it's literally like in an hour so because we're having dinner there so it's quite an early ball but I'm not going to be able to edit this and post this like same night so you'll see, I'm just going to stop talking but um, yeah so that's my makeup look just like that <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to go get my outfit to show you it's green velvet my outfit, it's very very snazzy <laughs> so this is the dress and it just, this is the material so it's just sort of this like slinky green velvet material so it's really nice has a massive slit in it of course and it's it's like a long sleeve one which I haven't really worn before but I'll say I'll give it a go and it's by Fashion Nova just because they're out there's jeans and dresses just fit me really well so I thought I'd play it safe and just go with them and then I do have a matching bow tie so I'm going in this and then my date is wearing this so look they match really well how cool is that? So this is just a satin bow tie I got off Amazon and it actually came, it came with like a pocket square end cuff link so 
it's got the whole shebang. But um, it's very hard to find a green velvet bow tie. I tried like all the main stores like M&S and Debenhams and couldn't find one anywhere. I was like, oh. So I just went with trusty Amazon. Just like that. So I almost forgot I have to do my hair before I show you the outfit. So, But I did put my outfit on before I do my hairstyle just because I didn't want to like mess it up when I like put the dress on. So I just thought, oh well. And the dress has shoulder pads, look. So it's like... It's just very fancy. Um, I will be putting on jewellery and necklaces and changing my earrings to gold because I think, I don't know, for Christmas gold, my nails are like gold tips and I just think gold jewellery will be better, even though my earring is green currently. But um, no, I think gold will be better. So it's time to take my plaits out and see what my hair is doing because if it's playing up at all or going frizzy, which it might do because my hair is just a very independent thing, um, I need to put some serum on it, I think, by the look of this one. Like, this is one of three pads, and it's already pretty big, so I might have to tame it, we'll see. So, that's how one, one plat's gone. So it's look, it looks quite nice, actually. So I'm going to do the middle one now. Um, so I'll take all the hair bands out, because they're all coming out. So I did three this time to see how my parting would go, because whenever I do two, all my hair wants to do is fall into those, the middle parting. So I thought do three so I have partings either side, so I can maybe, you know, I don't know. Because my natural parting is, like, just past the middle. I don't know. Let's have a go. <laughs> it's been funny having three plaits. Everyone thinks it's two, and then I turn around and they're like, you've done three? Okay, like that, because my hair, my hair goes really nice in plaits, it like, because it's so curly, it like curls and goes wavy, so I just have like mad hair, so it's looking good. Bum bum. It's just, you know, you got to find the time to the night before, wash your hair, plait it in all the three plaits, and then have messy hair for the next day but it's worth it there we have it so I can either have it parted like this or throw it back and have it like however so it's gone it's gone really nice actually I think anyway just like that so I'm just gonna put some hairspray on it now um, maybe put some sparkly clips in somewhere but apart from that I think I'm ready so I'm gonna pop my very sparkly gold heels on which you guys probably have seen in previous videos, and then show you my outfit. So this is the finalized hair, I just sort of hairsprayed it, but it's just getting bigger and bigger, so I hope in like an hour it's still like nice. Should be fine. Um, and then this is how the dress looks. It's just sort of a, um, I kind of feel like a green, like Jessica Rabbit. I don't know, it's just got that vibe about it, but it's really nice. Oh, I still haven't put my necklace on. I'll go do that in a minute and then show you guys but it just fits like this it's very flattering and I'm wearing it with my super high gold platform heels but they are actually really comfy because I bought them off eBay for like three quid last year and then um, I put I, I spent like double the price I spent six pounds on like gel stuff in them because they were a little bit too big and now they're super comfy so that was a win-win so um yeah this is how I'm going jacket wise I'm probably gonna wear my grey gray suede jacket and then handbag I'm matching it to my shoes so it's just gonna be a gold little little handbag and then underwear wise under this dress because of the slit and stuff I had to be I had to wear safe underwear so I'm wearing underwear that comes up to here and it's just this it's a lovely pair of body shaping pants from Boo Avenue so if you um if you are worried about wearing stuff under dresses these are perfect because they're Long back and then very high waisted so if you plan on eating a lot like I do these are great because they hold everything in and they don't show any lines because they're made out of that like no VPL material and they're just great so I'll link those down below if you want to get yourself a pair and also I'll link this dress below because they have it in other colors and it is so stretchy and so flattering I think um, I'm still getting used to the shoulder pads but that's what hair is for so I can hide them whenever I want but um, yeah, so I will just go put my jewellery on and then I'll be back. 
So these are the earrings I'm wearing and they're just sort of these gold little like crystal drop ones with just gold ball studs. Just like that. And then necklace. I wanted to wear the necklace my grandma gave me which is really cool. Um, looks like this. So she gave me a locket and a little man. But because I, I think it looks a bit weird having both of them like on so I wanted to just wear uh, the locket. <laughs> but the locket is like refusing to come off so um i don't know how i'm gonna get the man off either so i'm having a bit of a nightmare so i have no idea what necklace i'm going to wear i might wear i might just wear both of them because they're still like special to me it's just annoying wearing two but um nonetheless that's today's video this is also the bag i'm bringing it matches my shoes Aww. um so yeah that's today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did please subscribe give this a thumbs up um and yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you're wondering about these advent calendar things, they're just a bit of fun. They're surprise videos, so you never know what might be in one. And all the people ask me to just tell them what's in them. Where is the fun in that? Why would you buy an advent calendar knowing what's in them? Unless you buy like a chocolate one. But the theme of it is me. The theme of an advent calendar is chocolate. Open them for the surprises. But um, they're great fun. I am sorry some countries aren't available. Uh, I've tried to open it to as many countries as I can, but do email me if it says it's like unavailable to you um, because then I'll see if I can add your country, but uh, it's been playing up a little bit. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy those and I hope you, yeah, I hope you have a nice evening. But um, yeah, so I'm off to my geology ball now and um, yeah, see you next time.